All right, fam, we're about to get ready to start 7018 up here. This is a refresher for him. It's been a minute since he dived in it, so we're going to watch and see how he do. Uh, we're just getting back in on it. We got about 105 amps right now. We're going to see how that feels. And we might have to increase the amperage. We're using uh, eight inch rod. We got some eight inch welder rod. It's been a minute since he's been on a stick welder. They want to see how he's done. Do you think it was too? You think it needed a little bit more heat? Yeah, yeah. Let's get a little bit more heat, fam. We're going to go up a little bit. We started low. So I will grind that little spot out or hit that little spot. What's that? About eight. We're going to start it off at about, like I said, at 105 amps. And now we're on 108. And uh, we're going to let him knock this out. It's going to be more bad. He, he knocked that one out from the dive back into it. Probably gonna have that slag on the end. Yeah, knock that slag off the end of it. Don't with those rods that have a thicker slag on the end of it. I think it should be okay. Yep, messed up. Yeah, he might well get up. Yeah, I seen it when it fell off. I said, yeah, that's over with that one. <laughs> I seen it when the slag fell off of it. Okay, fam, we got it. He's hot. Yeah, make sure you keep it tight. There's three things you have to keep in mind, family, when you are doing stick welding, MIG welding, flux core welding, or TIG welding. Your travel speed, how fast you're going, your gap, how close you are to the metal, and your angle. All of those are gonna play a big, important role in your welding process. And just for the record, I want to say, I think it's always good to get a refresher to practice. If you haven't been doing something for a while, go back and get you a day in of practice before you go to the job and take a test. In your mind, you might say, yeah, I still got it, but you might then lost a few things because you haven't been on it for a while. So it's always good to have a refresher, go back, uh, fine tune everything and see how it go. We're going to knock this one out. We're going to see how he did on this first one because yeah, he yeah. might have to, re yeah, regroup. Might have to regroup. Okay, fam, let's see, check what he did. So right here, you see he started getting it up here. Damn. Right here, it kind of fell out. So it probably could have been too slow. Then he started out looking like it was almost slow here, but it wasn't, feel, it wasn't falling out. So we're going to dive back into it. And actually, I'm going to let me come in here. I'm gonna have you hold the camera and watch me. Right. And let me come in here and tie this one in and then let right. you go. That way I can give you an example real quick. Right. And then we'll dive back into it. So I'm gonna dive into it now, family. You're a little taller than me, so I'm sitting down doing this. You ready? Yep.
So one thing I want you to notice is, and see I ain't got no sleeves on. Yeah. And I did this on a purpose because if you keep a close arc and you keep it tight, you didn't see a whole lot of sparks, did you? No. That's one thing I noticed. I've seen a lot of sparks, so I know you weren't keeping it close enough. Yeah. So if you keep it real, real tight, you won't have as many sparks. Yeah. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. I ain't see, yeah. you didn't see too many sparks. Let's knock this scratch out. Oh, yeah. And this is just my first one. I'm a little rusty, but oh, yeah. we still dabbed it into it. Yeah. So that way you can have a good example. We're going to clean it up, knock these off, and we're going to come right back up and keep going. But I think everybody should do a, a refresher, man, because yeah. after you haven't did it in a while, yeah. sometimes it take a minute to get yeah, right man. back into it. Yeah. You ran it. You ran it. Hold on.